Let's talk about Syracuse and economic development and jobs. <clears throat> I am uh, excited about today because it's the fruition and manifestation of everything we've been talking about for a number of years, right? I was HUD secretary for eight years, Housing and Urban Development. And Housing and Urban Development is a federal agency that basically does economic development, trying to turn around older cities, older manufacturing economies, et cetera. And I go all across the country, and I would say to every city and every region, look, the challenge is yours. The question is, how do you fit into the new economy? And what is your vision, your business plan to fit into that new economy? Upstate New York, by the way, at one time, was the precursor for the new economy. We were there first. Our Erie Canal, our transportation network, bringing IBM, Kodak, et cetera, all those businesses, we were at the cutting edge. And then the economy turned, as the economy will do, the clock turns, and we were flat-footed in upstate New York, and we didn't reinvest, and we didn't have a new vision, and the economy passed us by. So then we had to play catch-up and we had to go out there and compete. And it's hard. What's the next economy going to be? I don't know, it's hard. It's hard. But you look at the places in the country that have thrived, they are the ones who had a vision and ventured forth and invested and grew. Silicon Valley, when they started Silicon Valley designing chips, you know, people thought they were making uh, potato chips. They had no idea what they were talking about. Research Triangle, uh, down in, in uh, the Carolinas. Uh, they were ahead of their time. But you look at where this nation is growing, you look at where this state is growing, it's places where we said we have a vision, where the private sector says they're growing, and we're going to be the place that allows and facilitates that private sector growth. Government does not create jobs. True, private sector creates jobs. But if government is smart, and the county executive is smart, and the mayor is smart, they'll say, private sector economy, you're growing, we want you to grow here. And we want those jobs growing here. And that's the key. So Buffalo, you see a great growth spurt now around the medical corridor and what they're doing. Capital District, Albany, nanotechnology, what is that? Nobody knew what it was. But it has driven a phenomenal economic turnaround in the whole Capital District. Uh, and that is the way of the world now. Syracuse, one of the investment uh, opportunities is in drones. What are drones? It sounds like a science fiction movie. No, it's a 40 Three billion dollar global enterprise. Forty-three billion dollars. The only question is where is it going to happen? Who facilitates it? Who gets that business? Where is it centered? Where is it located? Well, what do you have to do to get that drone industry here? Well, uh, you have to become the place in the country or one of the places in the country that is most attractive to that industry. Why don't we build the first test drone corridor of significance? Great. What is it? It's a 50-mile uh, test area with sensors all along the 50 miles. Goes from this airport to Rome, where you can test drones one of only six or seven places in the country where you can do it. And we'll bring the manufacturing industry here and the tech industry here because they need to test the product and we'll have the place where they can test it. That was the vision. That was the dream. That's what we invested in. People said it was impossible. I say today, congratulations, we completed the drone test corridor, 50 miles, one of only ha a handful of places in the United States.
What else do you have to do? You have to have a place where these new startup businesses, where people come in with just this great idea and vision, these great entrepreneurs, you have to have a place that nurtures them and that develops them and where they can set up shop and work with Syracuse University and the other academic universities to keep that talent there. The big move in these economies that have done well, you take the academic ideas and then you commercialize them into startup businesses, right? That was Stanford and Silicon Valley. Okay, so we're gonna create a tech garden in Syracuse that will be a home for these new startup businesses. And we did that and it's working very well. We now wanna take it to the next stage and we're going to invest another $12.5 million in birthing that tech uh, incubator to a new level, adding two floors, where you can now test drones inside that incubator before you bring them out to the drone corridor. So this is the dream, this is the vision, this is part of the mayor's Syracuse surge idea and strategy and approach. This is part of the innovation corridor that the mayor has been planning and building. This is what the county executive has been talking about from day one, bring the economy of tomorrow to Syracuse today. And that is exactly what we are doing. It took a vision, it took commitment, it took investment, it took a state government to work with a county government, to work with a city government, which is easier said than done, and it took a mastermind to put it all together, which is our chairman of the Empire State Development Corporation, Howard Zemsky. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chairman of Empire State Development, Howard Zemsky. Hello, everyone. Always good to be here in the Salt City. It's way cooler than the Queen City or the Flower City. The whole place looks like salt today out there. <laughs> I want to thank the governor for his very generous uh, words and to tell you what a privilege it has been working with him these uh, many years. You have no greater advocate. I think you all know that. No greater, there has never been a greater advocate. I'm your partner in upstate New York. I live in Buffalo. This perpetual pursuit of progress, this unprecedented commitment to the upstate economy, it is the most extraordinary thing I have seen and the most transformative results I've seen where I live where you live and across upstate. Let's hear it one more time for the governor. <clears throat> there is in fact, truth be told, no denying the momentum that is underway here. And some of you perhaps were at an event recently when the governor uh, was in Syracuse again lately. It was the expansion of JMA wireless 5G technology and the expansion of Bankers Healthcare Group. Uh, between those two companies alone, uh, we announced over 400 jobs here in Syracuse. So we continue to build on the incredible moment momentum that has been happening here. You know, Central New York has been one of the most successful regions in the state for economic development, period, and a discussion. You've had amazing leadership on the Regional Council now for nine years. I believe you've won here in Central New York, number one or two, in terms of funds from the state, and you've put together one of the most robust economic development plans, and we should note that whole concept of letting the regions define their own future and lay out their own economic future is really at the center of the governor's philosophy, and it's happened here in such an important way because you've been so engaged in planning your own future. Um, as the governor said, we, today we mark an important milestone, the completion of the drone corridor. And the state has invested $30 million in the UAS uh, corridor, which is already paying off. And I want to remind you um, that we have agreements with six innovative unmanned aerial system companies 
uh, here in the region. Uh, Thales USA, you may be familiar with, one of Europe's biggest defense contractors is establishing a UAS center of excellence in central New York. Belgium-based Unify will establish its North American headquarters in central New York. Auto Modality, the round one winner of the Genius New York program committed to creating a location in Syracuse targeting infrastructure inspections relating to the UAS industry. Uh, so you have a number of amazing companies, both new venture, early stage, but also international companies in the UAS space that are uh, clustering together, which is how economic development happens, this cluster of technology, new uh, small companies and medium-sized companies working together, attracting more businesses. Um, the governor mentioned the growth of, uh, of the tech garden. The tech garden not only seeds new companies and innovation, but it also helps downtown. And you think about what is the governor's focus for the upstate economy? It's seeding innovation throughout the economy. We don't want to be dependent on legacy industries. We have legacy industries. We need next generation industries across upstate. And revitalizing the downtowns. And this does both of those things. Tech Garden both enhances and builds on the success of their in the innovation of Tech Garden and it like doubles the capacity or triples the capacity but it also invests in downtown where people want to live. You want to grow these businesses, but you want to keep young people and attract young people back. There's some other important projects going on. Ephesus Lighting, which I think you all know, uh, lights amazing events throughout the country, including Super Bowls. The Icon Tower renovation, located at South Warren Street, uh, and the renovation there into a mixed use, commercial space and apartments. The Merchants Commons project on South Warren Street will mark the redevelopment of the former Merchants Bank and Snow Building. What a curious name that is to me. <laughs> what do you do? You go in for a loan and some snow? I'm not really sure. What is that building? What do they do in there? They, do they get off when it snows? What, what is it? Does anyone know? Someone knows. <laughs> the um, State Tower Building, this URI-funded project, the redevelopment of the 21st, 21-story uh, State Tower Building into mixed use, and of course, the amazing uh, Hotel Syracuse, which has been such an uh, amazing project in this town for some years. Uh, and I got here early because it was snowing heavily in Buffalo. What a shock. And so I left early, and it was uh, snowed all the way, but I checked out your airport, which is phenomenal. And let's put our hands together for that amazing airport that you now have in <laughs> Central New York. <clears throat> anyway, I suspect I've gone on too long, and I just want to uh, thank you, and again, thank the governor, and tell you that you have an amazing team now between the county executive the mayor, and of course the governor. Really, the sky is the limit. So it's my pleasure to introduce Mayor Ben Wall. Morning. Are we surging Syracuse? Are we surging Central New York? That, that was the first question the governor asked me when I, when I greeted him here, and, uh, and I think Everything you've heard today suggests that we are indeed surging. Uh, I want to thank Governor Cuomo for being here today. It's great to see you back in Syracuse once again for an exciting announcement. If you think about just over the past month or so, the announcements, the momentum happening. Howard talked about all of the investment that's happened downtown. Uh, we've seen the investment that the county executive has made around the convention district, the innovation district. Moving south as we start seeing investments with JMA Wireless and the Southside Campus for the new economy, it's all coming together and it couldn't be more exciting. Today's announcement caps a key strategy laid out in the governor's CNY rising plan. Again, this didn't happen by accident. This has been a long time coming. And it solidifies Central New York and the Mohawk Valley as a global center for UAS testing and innovation. As the governor and Howard discussed in their remarks, Syracuse truly is experiencing an unprecedented resurgence. 
The governor's economic strategy is working and fostering a business-friendly environment not only in Syracuse, but also in central New York. And the Syracuse Tech Garden is the perfect example of that. By expanding the Tech Garden, we are prioritizing and strengthening a key asset that gives entrepreneurs and businesses the resources they need to thrive and succeed. In fact, the Tech Garden houses companies like Photokite, the 2018 grand prize winner of the Genius New York competition, which has developed drones that you will see shortly on display. So again, Governor, thank you for your commitment to our city and to our region. The future could not be brighter for Syracuse and for Central New York, and it has been a privilege to work alongside you as we create a more diverse, stronger economy that will serve the next generation of New Yorkers. So at this time, I mentioned Photokite. We are going to watch a demonstration of a tethered drone developed by Photokite, shown by Chris McCall from Photokite and his team. So we want you to all stay in your seats. We're going to do a quick demonstration, and then you'll be on your way. Thank you, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our program. Thank you for coming.